your right to think as you wish, to say what you think, to publish what you say, your right to develop your own personality. I've told O'Reilly a hundred times he better be grateful that that's a natural right. <laughs> Your right to worship or not to worship. Your right to associate or not to associate. Your right to defend yourself. Which, of course, is not the right to shoot deer. It's the right to shoot at tyrants. If they take over the government and we have to drive them away or we have to secede. Just as we seceded from Great Britain. Your right to stay in your house without the government's troops coming in. The Third Amendment. And the quintessential American right in the fourth, the right to be left alone, which of course today we call privacy. The fourth is the most unique one because it says the people, it doesn't say the citizens, it says the people shall not be interfered with in their persons, houses, papers, and effects. Persons, houses, papers, and effects except by a warrant signed by a judge based on probable cause. Probable cause means probable cause of crime. It doesn't mean probable cause that you're talking to a book agent in Florence, a real case in which the NSA was listening to a conversation in Italian. They thought they were hearing a, a terrorist. They were just hearing a guy in New York trying to buy a book from the book agent in Florence. When the case came to court, the judge said, well, there's no prosecution here. They didn't come after you for anything you said. Therefore, there's no violation of the Fourth Amendment. Who wrote that opinion? Let's see if you've heard of this guy. <laughs> About which more later. <laughs> Okay, so now we have to ask ourselves some questions. And the questions are, is this for real? Does the government really believe in the natural law tradition? Is this for real? Has anybody really consented to the government? But do you know anybody that's consented to the Constitution? I mean, do you consent to the Constitution by voting? Suppose you don't vote. Do you consent to the government if the government, if the people you voted for are not in the government? Do you consent to the government by walking on the sidewalk? If, if the government really believes that our laws are natural, then how could we have the Patriot Act, which permits federal agents to write their own search warrants forgetting the requirement that only judges can issue search warrants under the Fourth Amendment. I could tell you stories about the Patriot Act, but not only does it permit federal agents to write their own search warrants, so FBI agent A writes a search warrant authorizing FBI agent B, there's got to be at least two of these characters involved in this, and then B can serve the search warrant. And when they serve the search warrant, they say, by the way, you can't tell anybody that we served this on you. That's another violation. You can't tell anybody. The government's going to enforce silence. What about Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech? What young lawyer was the scrivener when they were putting together the Patriot Act? There he is. Now you know why I was willing to get my fingers burned by pointing this out 10 days ago.